Republican Jim Jordan has stumbled again in his bid for Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. The conservative firebrand and close Trump ally lost a second vote for the chamber's top job on Wednesday, faring even worse than he had in the first vote less than a day earlier. The tellers agree in their tallies that the total number of votes cast is 433, of which the Honorable Jim Jordan of the state of Ohio has received 199. No person having received a majority the whole number of votes cast by surname, a speaker has not been elected. Between the two votes, Jordan lost the support of one Marionette Miller Meeks, who represents a politically competitive district in Iowa. Miller Meeks said she had received, quote, credible death threats after pulling her support from Jordan in the second vote. Republicans who control the chamber by a narrow nine-vote margin have been unable to unite behind a speaker candidate since the unprecedented ouster of Kevin McCarthy on October 3rd. The House has now entered its third week without a speaker, leaving Congress unable to respond to the wars in the Middle East and Ukraine or move to prevent a partial government shutdown, which will begin in a month without congressional action. That paralysis, along with Jordan's failure to secure the support needed to win the gavel, is pushing some Republicans to consider a backup option for the leaderless chamber, including expanding the powers of Representative Patrick McHenry, who is temporarily filling the speaker's chair. Democrats, meanwhile, have seized on the infighting across the aisle to make the case for a compromise candidate, backed by both parties, though that option would mark a sharp departure from how Congress typically functions. Jordan told reporters he would not make another attempt at the chair until Thursday at the earliest, which would mark the third consecutive day of voting on his bid.